This is a presentation of RBT Entertainment. and gentlemen and welcome to the Russellcast presented by RBT Entertainment on the BrookeIndependent.com, Podomatic.com, iTunes. Check it, Mike. Thank you. And wherever else may find this fine audio recording, my, uh, and of course live on RBT Entertainment's official Twitch.tv channel. We're talking about professional wrestling, both in the mainstream and the independent scene. Yes, we've been fighting TWK's Mike for the last half hour. We both hate it by now. My name's Manager, and that is TWK. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm TWK of TWK Reviews, and I'm here to entertain you for however long my mic lasts until it dies. I'd shop around for a real one this time, actually. Uh, those don't come cheap. I know, I know. I'll do what Easy and, uh, and uh, Bishosa White done to get the big snowball thing. They come in black now. And they're surprisingly good. You'd be surprised. Good bang for your buck there. But that's another story for another day. Uh, for those wondering, I am fine. Mattis, I'm fine. It's called a burnout, not actual depression. Also, WWE is shit. Eat it. I won't. Not anymore. At least not, at least not Monday Night Raw anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that in the third segment because I think a few people were uh, worried when I did that that, that uh, elongated uh, rant last week. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna provide a bit of a, what I've been doing, what I got planned in the third segments because uh, we're not gonna do any of that shit uh, on. Uh... <laughs> Mike. Half an hour, y'all. Y'all been fighting that POS for three years. Oh god! <laughs> uh, ain't that truth, Mike? Ain't that the truth? But don't don't tell me. Tell tell T Dub. Anyway, uh, I'll tell you what's up. Of course, uh, of course, we got some news. We got stuff and things, and uh, we got winners and losers. Your emails and comments, in which we have them. We have stuff to read here, and T Dub has news to read, and now I have things to to discuss. Uh, Raw was shit. But then again, it must be a Monday that ends and why? Are you still watching? Why, why are you Why are you still watching? I haven't. I'll get... Shut up, Maddie. Quiet, Maddie. You're doing good, Maddie. No, you're not. Uh, <laughs> also, cute bronchitis getting... Oh, no. Oh, Mike. Oh, man. Acute bronchitis, giddy at a dick. Yeah, is that what you're I fighting? I agree. Is that what you're actually fighting? What? Oh, you poor, you poor fez-headed bastard. Oh, that's gonna suck. I right, what? Well, you, you chill out. You let two wrestling nerds entertain you for a cup for a couple of minutes here and there. How about that? So. Stuff and things happened this week. Enhance your comment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before we uh, do our clip of the week, we do have to bring up a couple of um, of uh, of uh, b- bad things, some bad news. We'll we'll start with that. Uh, we have been made aware of the passing of Larry the Axe Henning this uh, past week, and uh, 
it's another one of those things where you kind of get the feeling it's going to happen. You just don't, you still are like hit by it. So there, there's that. I know someone else passed. So of course, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the other half of the, uh, British Bulldogs tag team, the dynamite kid has passed away as well. Uh, if nothing else, dynamite kid is a pioneer. In, in uh, not only British wrestling but in pro wrestling as a whole, and Infl- he's been an influence to a lot of people, a lot of professional wrestlers. And uh, would it be fair to say, T Dub, that he's one of those lost souls that never really got the credit he was due? Uh, yeah. And the thing, the main thing that uh, obviously caused that was, uh, was obviously you know his uh, injury, that injuries and drugs, unfortunately. Yeah, he was uh, he was a notorious uh, uh, performance enhancing drug user, and it, it caught up to him when he was actually confined to a wheelchair uh, during uh, a good portion of his uh, life after professional wrestling. And uh, and as far as Larry Diax Henning, him obviously the father of uh, Kurt Henning, the grandfather of uh, Curtis Axel. I mean. Our condolences to the to, to the uh, to the Henning family, obviously. But that go. The, I said we want to get some stuff because we we need words from a champion, from a man. Not 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 the man. Not Becky Lynch. She comes in the third segment because we all need words from the man, and we will get it. No, we we're talking about the champ, Tommaso Ciampa. Here's our clip of the week, ladies and gentlemen. I love how this promo was put together. Just well, clever is the word I would use. Take a listen, and we will talk news type stuff and things when we shall return. Or when we uh, we come back from that clip. Take a listen. At NXT TakeOver, I stood toe-to-toe with Johnny Gargano, and I absolved him from his sins. Sins that you created, Puppet Master. And now, now look at you, NXT Champion. But you're not really a champion, are you? Now I look at you and I see original sin. Sin that I too will absolve. Because I hereby evoke my right to challenge you for the NXT title. At NXT TakeOver Phoenix. You're getting ahead of yourself here talking about a title rematch, okay? Me and you, no, we're not finished, okay? No, thank you, thank you for absolving me of my sins, but this is over when I say it's over. The champ saw you two fight at TakeOver War Games, and you boys, you damn near tore each other's heads off. I mean... In the champ's opinion, the only thing missing is it, it should have been you two inside that steel structure. And I'm, I'm looking at you two right now, and clearly there is some unfinished business. Listen, this is just my opinion, just the champ talking to you two. If it were me, I would want to finish this thing the right way. I would want to finish it once and for all. I would want to finish this inside of a steel cage. (laughs) Alistair, I'm looking at you and I can tell you like how that sounds and John Boy, I know you well enough. I know that you like how that sounds. And the people here, I bet, 
I bet the NXT universe, I bet Full Sail wants to see you two fight inside on a steel cage. Well, you see, you see how this this played. You hear how this played out. Alistair Black accuses Tommaso Ciampa of being a puppet master. End of the promo. Tommaso Ciampa says, "You two should have a steel cage match." Three days later, in kayfabe, the cage match is booked. I love it. I obsessed with this title and will manipulate. I thought I it was a good ask. promo. I think... Good promo, man. I have to ask. Yeah. Do you love it, Maggle? I'm not Jay, I'm not John Bradshaw Layfield. Thank God for that, by the way. So you don't <laughs> want to be a millionaire? Well, I do want to be a millionaire, eventually. It'd be nice. We're nippy nice do 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 do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, shall we into uh, some of the news? Let's get into some of the news. We already talked about uh, the, the 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 sad stuff, the sad sappy stuff. How about we take care of the of some good shit? How about so how about well, we start with some good shit? I will like to start with some good stuff, but uh, this is some stuff that could be good, could not be good. Uh, Braun Strowman's still a maybe for TLC at this point. And so is Becky Lynch, from what I've read as well. Yeah. Uh, Becky uh, says that she will be at TLC on Twitter. She said that no matter what, she will be there. So, but Braun Strowman's elbow thing is has not been cleared medically yet. That's uh, some. Ooh. And, we're all, and we're just a little over a week away. The Go Home show is literally next, is li- the coming this Monday for Raw. If, yeah, if they don't have a decision by this Monday. Then what the fuck do they do? Panic! Ah! And of course, the rest of the wrestling world will go. You should have hit the panic button two years ago, fuckers. Now, Mattis calls this a rebuild. Fuck that. It's a tank. They're tanking harder, harder. They're tanking harder than the Cleveland Browns. Mildred, that one was for you. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's just a sh- Yeah, and uh, uh, it looks like he, here's hoping that, you know, whenever he does return, he does get that big push that he deserves and goes into that main event scene. He gets in there, no matter what the number he is, he kills everyone. I agree. Uh, no, you should no, totally no. do that. Just murder everyone in the Rumble. Just throw them all out and uh, then go to WrestleMania, kill Lesnar, and then have Lesnar never show up again. Ever. Or for at least you. or for at least six months. At least six months without the title. Leave. Go to fuck home. Go to UFC. Get your ass kicked by Daniel DC Cormier. Yeah, Cormier would wreck him because Cormier... As, uh, to this date, as we're recording, has mm-hmm. still never been knocked out or submitted in his entire career. He's only badass. ever lost by decision. It's true. It's true, you know. He has literally never been knocked out, never submitted, so he is one of the best fighters in the history of mixed martial arts. And also, at the time of this recording, I believe he's still a dual champion. You hear this crazy movie, speaking of Daniel Cormier, especially speaking of Daniel Cormier, have you heard of the rumor of of uh, Fox wanting to bring in Daniel Cormier as an announcer slash commentary person for when SmackDown makes the jump to Fox? Uh, not sure how he would do in that department. <laughs> I know. I mean, we're not going to knock his commentary skills. I've I've listened, I've watched uh, UFC pay per views from him on the mic. He's good, actually. But really good. Wrestling is different because it requires a different set of skills. So you have to be. It does because it, it isn't just 
because you have to be able to just uh, analyze pro wrestling, which is different than analyzing mixed martial arts. Yeah, it's it's very weird. Back in the eighties and seventies, he would have been a he would have fit like a glove. Possibly, um, because that's I, that's what it was. You you would, of course you throw in some color here and there, but by and large, you'd be the a color analyst. Nowadays, Corey Graves is probably the best example of this. You have to be analytical, but at the same time, you got to pick a side. Like that's what a color commentary theater does. It varies from company to company. It does, but it is a very different set of skills. I read this going, you know, he wouldn't be the half bad, but at the same time, uh, here's the here's uh, thing: um, if they replace Byron Saxon with Cormier, I would be all for it. I yeah, yeah that think that go. I think you put you put Percy Watson in for, instead of freaking uh, you know uh, instead of Byron Saxon, it'd be. You, I think people would be kind of happy with that. You know what I know you'd be happy for, Maddie? What? The fact that Vince McMahon recently sold $22.8 million worth of stock. Is he finally leaving or is he still fucking around? He's still fucking around with the script, isn't he? Like he did on Monday with the George... Because, yeah, guess what? The original plan before uh, Vince decided, here's a script where, where the faces are going over tonight. More heel bullshit. You know, Mattis, another point he made on Facebook was like, uh, oh, you got to build up the heels. You got to build up the heels. Bollocks to that. You need to build up faces. Um, I, I do see the point he's trying to make, but uh, the problem that Raw has at the moment is that they didn't build up anyone strong enough to be able to take that heat from the heels. Because the problem is they, they, they had their eggs in two baskets, Strowman and Roman. Roman's gone at least f three to five years, and that's right. if he ever returns. And that's if he ever, if he, that's if, if he ever decides to come back. Well, here's the thing: um, he could, like, you know, all good things willing, you know, he actually beats leukemia again. Hey, right. we still don't know if he'll be healthy enough to return following that. You know what? If if we just see him in a tag match one time, and he gets the the, the Superman punch and everything else, if he's healthy to take. One bump, do two, uh, do a spear and a, do a spear and, and a Superman punch safely. I'll be happy for him. Yeah, definitely. But I will be happy to see that. Agreed. And people go, well, is... you'll be worth better. No, no, just one match. One match. That's all we ask. But uh, and the only one uh, is Strowman, and he's iffy right now. The thing is, back in the Attitude Era, they had Stone Cold Steve Austin as like the guy, but. They had The Rock. They had Triple H. They had Mankind. They were building stars on top of stars on top of stars. And they were talented. Nowadays, they have, they do have the talent. All they need to do is stop the 50-50 bullshit and just build up and just slowly, not too much, but enough to say, okay, if something happens, we can fall back on it. We have, we have, a, we have a safety net. WWE just flat up landed on spikes. With Roman being gone. Yeah, it definitely feels that way. And my point earlier with Roman is that the fact that uh, we have no idea if he ever will return. So yeah. they can't really bank on him and ever they're not really going returning. To that has to be that, that can only be in the absolute back part of their mind. Yeah. At this current juncture, they really have to focus on who they have right now. And that to, to me, focus on Strowman, focus on Rollins. Focus on Balor. Those are the three big stars, and obviously they're also looking to make a star out of McIntyre. Which smart move? He he's earned it. <laughs> you can't say he hasn't. Yeah, the, the guy's been working. making the indie waves. scene alone and the work he's put up in NXT. He's ready. He just needs a good, a good quality feud to get him in there, in, in that mix, and to Are not the... be fucked over by the WWE machine. Oh wait, but you know. Yeah. But the point I was making earlier about Vince selling $22.8 million worth of stocks is maybe this is him slowly walking away because he's going to need to put a lot of folks in the XFL. That's not just going to be a part-time thing. <laughs> not, any, not anymore. Because we're just like, what, one year away from the launch? Literally, yeah, one year, 2020. So one year. February mm -hmm. 2020 will be the kick, the kickoff. Yeah, one year and just a little bit of change. Just a little bit of change, but pretty much a year. 
by the time that rolls around, he is going to need to put all his focus on that. And I can only imagine that Triple H and most likely Stephanie will be taking over uh, WWE during that time because, like I said, organizing a football federation, that is just absolutely just organizing anything that to that level requires a huge amount of commitment. And as little as Vince likes to sleep, and as much as he likes to just commit himself 100% to every little thing that he does, I do not think that he's going to be able to commit himself to both WWE's booking and the way the XFL runs both simultaneously. Not, not anymore. The, not at his age. And not with the amount of attention they don't need. Yeah. I, hopefully he's smart enough to realize, okay, can't run two companies at the same time. Not anymore. But as stubborn as he is, he's going to try to find a way to fuck up Raw like he did last week, or this week, and last week. And probably the week after, because they were in a, a press conference with Nia Jax and Ron Rousey. Guess who's not watching Raw Live again, folks? Not me. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched Raw Live in quite a few weeks. I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, I'm joining uh, but... in on that boat. I just played some video games, caught up on, on some uh, GDQX stuff I have not watched yet. Yeah, so. I'll watch Raw again once they actually have a world champion. That would help. Yeah, um, anyways, moving on. Uh, some uh, really sad news. Uh, just incredible. Got arrested once again for assault and parole violation, which... No! Yeah, his, he just, oh, his life. What's going on there? Ooh, that's a clusterfuck right there. Yeah, just what the fuck is going on with him? I'm not in the bun for that, no. Yeah. I'm, uh, can, I'm not. Can, can we get this guy uh, admitted to some sort of... Uh, center because it seems like he needs it a little bit and my only watching it fast forward took me 15 minutes thank god for youtube that's all i'm gonna say there youtube and dvr yeah mike oh. was talking about this on rift down yeah fuck yeah fuck dvr it's they don't even earn a dvr for me just like youtube clips and that's it that was a weird feeling, by the way, but it felt good at the same time. Yep. Insane. Heading on over to Vegas for Impact, we had the debut of Dark Alley. She looks good, by the way. Yeah, and it looks like she'll be feuding with Kira Hogan. For a and... little bit, it makes sense, because she is under control of Sue Young. Ooh. And guess Spooky, who's wa- Spooky. And guess who's watching from social media, giving her own low comments on these events. That uh, that lady who uh, was uh, hivelings and the thing and the we are people, the, the, the rosemary person. Yeah. So maybe in January 6th, uh, as I've been saying, she makes her epic return. I'm willing to bet it's going to be at homecoming. Yep. Call it a gut feeling. It is simply a gut feeling. Also, speaking of homecoming, we got another match added to it. A Ooh. Monsters Ball match between Eli Drake and Abyss. I do not know how to feel about this match. In one oh, corner, in one corner, I'm excited because it's Abyss and a Monsters Ball match. A great many crazy things has happened in one of those matches with Abyss involved. On the other hand, it's Eli Drake. And he's one of my boys. I don't want him to actually die yet. He'll be fine. He'll only just die a little bit. Yeah, but he's still going to die. By the way, I'd just like to uh, take this time to point out how Impact uses their authority figures because oh. since they've done the whole uh, takeover by Don Callis and that whole yeah. team, they have not actually had people on screen representing authority figures they've only had like hands or like just people coming in and out of the office or somebody contacting josh matthews on his headset they've never like done in-ring promos or anything like that it's such a refreshing change isn't it yeah it's like i want a match with you okay let's do the match and then they do the match how weird is that folks there's no anonymous GM. It's just a bunch of people who run the company in the back that, that, that prefer not to be, you know, that to be, uh, they, they prefer to stay anonymous. And it's it's good. 
It's 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 fine. Yeah, it just means that you know the wrestlers take up all of the screen time. The wrestlers and you know the announcers and the people that are actually on screen. You know, we don't need any of this uh, the same authority nonsense that we've been getting from WWE for what has it been? Oh, I think this is officially now two two decades. Yeah, because it started in April twenty of excuse me, April of ninety eight with the introduction of the Mister McMahon character. I no 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 not April. September ninety no uh, November ninety seven technically. No, the Mr. McMahon character didn't start until Steve Austin won the world title. Fair enough, but what happened at uh, the Screw Job? I know, but that really wasn't a kayfabe thing. Uh, eh, uh fair enough, but still twenty years. Yeah, twenty years of twenty years just, of a few authority figures, with only minor breaks in between. So God damn it, Mike Shell. funny in fact. <laughs> you know what, T-Dub? Still a better GM than freaking Baron Corbin. Here's my problem with Baron Corbin. Is that he was doing good as sort of the... Uh, like the constable? lackey... The, the, the lackey... Uh, the, 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 the avatar for Stephanie McMahon being the cunt, you know? Yeah, the main reason I worked is that it was sort of a back and forth between him and Angle. So they had yeah. a nice little thing going. But ever since Angle has sort of quote unquote gone on vacation, as they had him do, um, yeah. just having him just be the lone figure, just it goes back to that title thing of where it's just the heel authority figure just running things, and now it's even worse because you know he's an active wrestler. You know, with Eric Bischoff and the, the reign of terror of Triple H, at least some weeks it was entertaining. You and, know, Bischoff had problem, that, that 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 charisma with him. You know. And the biggest problem with Baron Corbin is the fact that he could usually just do a I book myself in a universal tile match. I win. Give me my belt. And yet he doesn't. Yeah. And, it just and makes he's him look got dumb. the ego to do it. That's the problem. With Bischoff, yes, he had an ego. Yes, he was easily hateable. Very hateable. But at the same time, every once in a while, he'd be forced to make a decision and be like, you know, you're right. I'm going to make that decision. Consider it booked. No, he would still stack the deck, but he would be like, okay, fine, you got it. With Corbin, it's like, oh, you got it. Oh, not anymore. Fuck you. See what I mean? There's no balance. Bischoff, there is a balance. And the comeuppance came, still came yeah. within weeks. And it looks to me like they're not, they, if it weren't for Vince going, okay, let's, we need to, we need some, we need faces to win this week. Corbin was going to get with, with, away with murder again. Also, um, there's always the, this pressure pushing down on Eric Bischoff from the sick man saying, hey, you better make it good or else SmackDown will win. And there's always this, you know, back and forth between, you know, him and Stephanie. Which then that, the games, uh, him and Teddy and him and Paul. And basically, the, there was that rivalry. Here, it's, it's, it's not, like, it's still present, but it's not like, emphasized yeah unless it's survivor series which by the way is the only time of year this this kind of sort of shit happens bullshit muggle bullshit but that's another well, royal rumble royal rumble uh mixed match challenge but we don't talk about that sh except oh wait this year oh wait the prize this year is you it's kayfabe you get the wit you get to be number 30 so there is storyline implications so mixed match challenge canon Raw and SmackDown people fighting. The finger is up. The finger is the bird is up. Take a guess which one. Speaking of birds, <laughs> guess who showed up at Impact this week? Ooh, who, who, who? Go, go! Raven! Yep, in, 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 the, in the insane asylum with freaking <laughs> Yeah, apparently, yeah, Raven's like, yeah, check myself in every now and again. <laughs> With uh, freaking Eddie Edwards. Go fucking fig on that, huh? Well, if there's someone you want helping you, it's a guy who is uh, in Mensa. True? It's basically like a super genius club. That's true, yeah, he's a Oh, that's right. He is a member of Mensa, isn't he? Yeah, he Raven's was. kind of a super genius in real life. Raven E. Coyote. Super genius. 
I, that came out of nowhere, and I apologize to Raven. Moving on. Wait, why I got that anyways, yeah, to Raven? Uh, Raven helped Eddie Edwards get a key card. Yeah. That's so okay. next week we're going to see Eddie Edwards doing some stealthy stealth, I assume. Bum, 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 bum. I know this next part is going to make you super happy, Maddie. Yes, sir. The person, one of the people that qualified for Ultimate X oh. this week was Ethan Page. All ego, baby. He's Ethan actually Page. having a good run with Impact. I'm happy for him. Yeah, I know you've been following him for quite a few years. He's uh, he's a standard uh, in the uh, in the Ontario Quebec uh, indie scene for a long yep. for the longest time. I'm happy for him. I really am. Yep, he hails from Hamilton. Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Yipper. Yep, you got a win after him and Sidell started going back and forth with roll-ups, and uh, Pages just happened to be the one to win. Pretty much. That's pretty much how it happened. And the other qualifier was uh, OVE uh, Dave Christ. Yep. Taking on Willie Mac. Chocolate yeah. Thunder Willie Mac. Return of the Mac. <laughs> the last thing is, whoa, 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 thunder! Whoa, 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 whoa! Anyway. But yeah, he, he wrestled, and uh, there was uh, shenanigans, because OVE, and then uh, Jake Crest, part of Ultimate X. Which, by the way, will be for the X Division Championship? Yep, the, the vacant X Division Championship, as Brian because... Cage invoked Option C. yep -er. Yep, Which, Michael by the way, Platt. Brian Cage, if you're not excited to see Brian Cage versus Johnny Impact, you are not a wrestling fan. I'm sorry. Oh, some implications there, because Killer Cross at the end of this week's Impact was ambiguously babyface. Or trying to turn in, uh, Johnny Impact heel? We'll see, because... There's some uh, ambiguity. A... There's, there's some ambiguity here, you know? Yeah, some intrigue, guys. Yes. Uh, Tessa Blanchard was about to lay out Taya with a chair, uh, chair, but who would come out to uh, stop that? But Killer Cross. There you go. So, so well, I, I, I'm kind of digging the character he's building there. It's not all the way helps. there yet, but it's 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 it, it, there's a, there, it's like you see the beginning in the middle, but you're and it it, it makes you interested in how you go. What's the, what's the end going to be on that one? What makes I'm, interested, I'm intrigued. What makes this even better is the fact that this uh, bit of impact tapings is happening in Las Vegas, which is the hometown of Killer Cross. Which makes sense. So, able to get a bit more babyface reaction there. I mean, they're using that for storyline purposes. No, it's Jay Christ and Dave Chris is taking on Rich Swan next week. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Jay Christ is the go. blonde one. Yeah. Blonde Jake. Yep. Less, the way to remember it, less than Jake. Less, younger. Boom. <laughs> also, that was a punk a punk rock reference for you right there. Well, ska punk. Ska punk, but yeah, punk rock is still punk. I know, but they're, they're ska. Ska punk. They got trumpets. Still, under the same umbrella here, come on. They got trumpets and trombones. Does it, the word punk still appear in ska punk? But there are lots of punk bands without trombones and trumpets. T Dub, you, we're both right here. You, you don't have to argue. I get to my senses. I become senseless. You know the crazy part is we're both right, and he doesn't want to admit that we're both right because he'd have to admit that I'm right in the process. Never. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> Anyways, here's some news that I know will make you sort of scratch your head, be amazed, and have no idea what the hell is going on in the wrestling world anymore. You mean how Raw is still three hours? Even crazier than that. Goddamn. All right, here we go. Well, the newest signings to Ring of Honor is PCO. <laughs> okay. First off, Pat Calouillette is 50. And he is enjoying this sort of second prime? Because that's just the best way. His, the crazy part is I've seen him wrestle a couple of, before he hit that second prime, so to speak. He's, he was okay. 
But like seeing the matches he's having, it's, I mean, it's head scratcher, yes. But I'm like, you know, there are a couple of people in there who can have great matches with PCO. And Speaking as, of contracts, one of them, Silas Young. Yep, and as Dark Mortimer pointed out in the chat, PCO is not human. He's not. He's. <laughs> I mean, here's a match I'd love to see: PCO versus Brian Cage. If, I'll be surprised if that match hasn't happened already. Battle of the Terminators. Come on. That, that, I could have sworn. I, I could have sworn I saw the advertisement. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's been booked before. I'm googling it. Somebody uh, has is, to book that match because I could have sworn this, this, I saw this, Brian Cage advertising that in the last like, year. I would be I Brian Cage versus PC. And Mike Schell says this is the this is the Russell cast, not the music cast. Well, to that I say, over the hills they come from the valleys, making you win and go by my lack of talent. Oh well, I say. Ooh. Uh, Dark Mormor says, maybe MLW? Maybe. Maybe MLW. I have Beyond Wrestling, PCL, Brian Cage, July 29th, 2018. It was indeed booked. Beyond Wrestling? Not even Beyond that. Wrestling. They would. They would. No, knowing their style, this, this does not surprise me. I love Beyond Wrestling. I I, I am, uh, I am uh, hopefully that, I uh, please, Please put that on YouTube. By the way, uh, earlier today, we learned who will be challenging next for Nick Aldous' NWA World's Heavyweight title. I love... Do you, know, do you know who it is? He's a machine! Wrong! Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's that's the that's the one for uh, the... Um, this the was, nat this, That's this another defense. one down the line, but it is set up... No, no, this is the pop-up show. The pop-up show. I read about this today, actually. It is happening January 5th. That's the one. So one day after Wrestle Kingdom on a Saturday. Yep. It will be Nick Aldis defending the NWA World's Heavyweight title against somebody who I'm sure many people would like to see in the WWE. That is the Tennessee Cowboy, James Storm. One, The beer half of beer money. By the way, uh, he recently did an interview this week saying that if he were to go to WWE, he would not want to be tag teaming with Bobby Roode at first. Tease it. Makes sense. Make him want it. Make him want it. I, I do not blame you. I'd be like, oh, you cocked his... Uh, ooh, we did, okay, I, I see where you're going there. Good, good. You you keep cock teasing people. That's, that's good. That's good. Okay. But no... Uh, <laughs> But no, no. But obviously, there was a 16 pounds goal this week that was advertising uh, all this versus Brian Cage, which is another one down the line. Actually, uh, they they showed clips of uh, Brian Cage and uh, Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. So, forgive my mistake. We're both right once again. But the, the earliest matchup, the next matchup uh, for the NWA title is indeed James Storm. That's what it is. There you go. So it's, it's James Storm, and then it's Brian Cage. Pretty much the, the the progression there. Not gonna lie could, though, that those are two good matchups I'd like to watch. Do you think we could see James Storm debut at the Rumble? Ooh. Because to me, you know he's what? Already, to me, he's getting up there in age. If he's gonna, he, he's. I don't think they should send him to NXT if he goes to WWE. He's technically he's already been to NXT. Yeah, he's a, he's had a couple matches. And you know what? I think this this should be tabled because this is pretty much going to pop up, or clips of this will pop up at uh, during the uh, with the uh, ten pounds of gold series on YouTube. We're gonna see images of James Storm as of right now. Oh, I've I, already seen some images as of late, and he is still pretty ripped. All right. So that being answered, you know what? If, the, if this was a couple of years ago, you know, before AJ Styles and uh, Gallows and Anderson and Shinsuke Nakamura uh, had uh, that. They, if they had not, this was before. If this was like two years ago, I'd be like, ooh. So that's a big maybe, but it can happen. Now, I mean, I'm like, 
you know, it's it's it's. I think the the fact that it's in Phoenix is like the only thing that's still putting like a maybe label on me because I'm like, are they gonna know James Storm? But there's a big part of me that's going, ooh. Well, the there's thing a is, wild card. Yeah. Well, thing is, with most of these pay per views nowadays, it really is more hardcore fans than casuals yeah. going. Usually, so that's because they seem so to have that's, completely lost the casual fans with how bad their storylines have gotten. Ooh, uh, they're losing fans like me who are hardcore fans. They're lose. They're chipping away at their base now, and that's not a good thing. But back to the rumble here. I, you know, I wouldn't. Pa- I wouldn't put it past them. I'm like, there's. I, I, I'm in a part where I'm a bit of a doubt on this. But it's like it's like it's it's within the realm of possibility if James Storm has or is thinking of signing. Fuck it, yeah, I go Rumble. I would, I would, I would say, how about my, 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 why not the Royal Rumble? I don't know, chat. Feel free, feel free that that the chip in on this one. But I, I would see it. I could see it. Oh, and uh, Mike Show found Cage versus PCO. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's uh, that you popped the whole American Rana show. Ooh, that's I'm Beyond Wrestling, actually, correct? Yep, Beyond Wrestling, one of their American Ron. Oh wow, yeah, there it is. I'm going to save American that. American Ron, that's uh, the entire show. Yeah. Angela and 72918. This the link is indeed uh, that's beyond wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. That is free and legal. You should watch it. Yep. I'm looking at this image now. And uh God damn. <laughs> Both like this is this is gonna be a hoss battle. I'm just watching it, but they're going through the introduction introductions right now. Anyways, that's for a different time. Yes. Uh, let's see. Dark Moore says, have them enter right after Rude gets eliminated so they can see each other eye to eye. That, Ooh, that right there. That's how you do it. That's how you get it if they had interest. Yeah, just Bobby Rude gets eliminated. He's out of ringside. Then the countdown goes down. Three, two, one, zero. Right as he's just still at the ring facing the stage, James Storm's name pops up on the Titan Tron. He walks out. Bobby Rude's like, Ooh. Tip of the cap before, he, of course, you know, and uh, Rude gets to the ramp. They both stare down. Cowboy tips the hat, runs to the ring. Yep. That's how you tease it, folks. That is how you tease it. And now watch Vince McMahon how they, how, which, if I watch Vince, how, how Vince fucks that up. But the, I've been because down on that. I'm was, shitting on Vince McMahon hard this week. I wonder why. Anyway, moving that on. That <laughs> is all the news I have, by the way. Oh, really? We had a good 45 minutes. Holy shit. Yeah, you did. we did. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> by the way, I stopped. Oh, God. Yeah. That, that, oh, my God. Those are two very tall, very muscular motherfuckers. Save your porn for after the show, Maddie. Been a while since I've done that. <laughs> Check your Worth mic it. real quick. <laughs> I don't think they heard the slap uh, over that noise there. Oh, there, uh, 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 there you go. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's time for your emails and comments of the week. You can send them out to Russellcast at gmail.com. Uh, we begin this week, ladies and gentlemen. Rip Van Winkle, we heard it. <laughs> hi, Rip. How you doing? Speaking of uh, Dark Mortimer, say hi to him. He's starting off uh, this week's uh, discussion in the emails here. Uh, meanwhile, inside the clock tower, the Fallen Society are having dinner. Obviously, Roberta didn't cook. Good call. Uh, so, no one here wants to review Raw, correct? Rip and Roberta? Yeah. I'll fucking, I'll review the fucking sh- Oh! 
Ladies and gentlemen, we need TWK on this. What do I, what, what did I do? T-Dub? Scott Steiner. All right. <laughs> we need, we need an expert in this. And I will, I will set you up for this. I'll review the fucking show. Camera pans over to Scott Steiner. Mortimer says, all right, Scott, take it away. Bro, same old shit. The only different one, the Star Show, yeah, Tim Buster, to the 41 Bill Mambo, now he's there with the lady. I were so no, but come and stay, he did, and get the faces. Until that battle guy show, it screwed up with the plan, which, by the way, he must have gotten a lot of freaks with abs like that. However, he doesn't have the largest arms in the world like mine. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Then afterwards, they were free to get to get pulled down by Mike Tyson by staying way to go on the build up the baby face or to heat by Vince. Oh, it's big in events. You thought that horse started and son in law kissed my ass. Mm, 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 mwah. Love kissing my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and Mortimer, thanks. Thank you, Scott Steiner. And thank you, Tita. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, SmackDown, well, we open up with the contract signing for the women's title at TLC. Clip in the third. Uh, Oscar says uh, that Charlotte got uh, a, a lucky at Mania by ending her streak. And that Becky cho chose wrong in picking Charlotte to face Ronda at Survivor Series. Rip Van, if she did pick Oscar, Ronda would have uh, would have been carried out. That's very true. Brian cut a promo on how everyone is polluting the earth with their uh, water bottles. <laughs> well, bottles. Roberta takes a drink from a bottle of water. What? We recycle. And any meat. Ra Raven takes a bite out of, of a pepperoni pizza. I uh, I get the feeling, uh, I believe, uh, Raven, I believe uh, you want the bad luck fall A button on this one. Here we go. Fuck him! Here we go. <laughs> Continues eating. Brother Nero took on uh, Randall Keithorn until Samoa Joe. Uh, Scott Steiner. He's fat! Did he do that? He's fat! Joe, Scott, fat asses. Fat asses! There we go. <laughs> well, it's at a bar serving up some pints and reminding the viewer to drink responsibly. Sips tea. Well, I never drink alcohol, but fish and chips does sound good around right right, right now. Yeah, indeed it does. Indeed it does. And by the way, uh, the following paragraph is why I'm glad I watched NXT and 205 Live. Well, mostly NXT, but 205 Live was, it was good and NXT UK yeah, was Mike good as Kinellis well. Mike is actually getting a push on that show. Who? Mike Canellis. I know, right? NXT, Matt Riddle versus our boy, Punishment Martinez. And what? Catch... Already? Yeah. You see what else this week? He debuted against Matt Riddle, and I... he lost. But the good Obviously. news, he had a great showing. Oh, I need to look that up because Punishment was my boy. Punishment is your boy, and in his first match against Matt Riddle, he done good. He did good. And the consolation prize, he got the Triple H selfie. That he did. I saw that selfie, but I thought that was just like a performance center thing. No, NXT, they yeah, were at yeah, full sale. Yeah, because you know, every time they show up at the performance center, you know you get the handshake picture. Oh, yeah. They were, they were, uh, that was a that was a backstage bit that was indeed at full sale. Nice. There you go. And then Cassius KO the King of Bros rip uh, rip and that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. By the way, um, a, no a note to WWE's Twitter for botching that. Because uh, instead of using the NXT ta uh, hashtag, they use 205 Live. Whoops. Last time I checked, Punishment Artinez is not 205 pounds. Neither is Cassius Ono. Not anymore, he ain't. 
Uh, Dakota the Kingslayer Kai took on the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Shane of the Queen of, Queen of Hearts, you mean the Queen of Spades? Uh... The Queen of Spades! The Queen of Spades! Yeah. <laughs> Shane of Baszler, who bought friends? Uh, Raven, do you know the names of those two? Raven, no. Rip, do you? Rip, and what beats me? Roberta. Roberta says Jessamine Duke and Marina Shafir. Thanks, Roberta. Undisputed Era cut a promo on a trailer so they don't won't get attacked from behind again. And Alistair and Ciampa for TakeOver Phoenix is booked, but Black has to deal with Gargano in a cage. Winner and me for using two weeks of vacation time, which explains why I was on Twitch last week and this week. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying your vacation, by the way. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 announcement. Still not pre-ordering. Well, that's fair enough. They locked Shao Kahn behind TLC. That is bullshit. Yeah, that's uh, that is uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, oh, that's good just... news. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11, I believe, will be on Switch. Oh, okay then. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. There you go. I ain't there. I ain't there, evil reverend. He's, well, shit, Martinez is already there. Right on. I know, right? <laughs> That did not take long. And uh, uh, loser is Vince for booking the same show from last week with minor changes. That's it for this week. And remember, drink responsibly. Holds a cup of tea and Raven goes, oh, and fuck Rhonda. By the way, Dark Marmor points out it is on Switch. Yeah. Ooh. Just more reasons for you to get that Switch. Not going to lie, folks. Uh, this will go into the what I'm about to talk about in the third segment. I, I am considering buying myself a Switch in 2019. Hopefully early 2019, but the the money gods must must, must be generous with me the, that particular week or oh, month. Oh, Evil Rev, when it comes to Tekken 7, I'm waiting for like some sort of compilation edition, like some sort of like game of the year or whatever you want to call it. Ah, get because all the of DLC all the DLC in. they're releasing for it. I, just, I don't want to spend all that money on DLC. I just... I want just the whole game with all that stuff just you want, you want, right you, into it. You want, to make, you want to make one solid full investment. I don't blame you yes. there. Uh, well, Evil Rev, you know what FTRR has stood for this whole time, right? Fuck the Roman Reigns. Nope. Hmm? That was debunked, I believe, in episode 19, uh, episode, I think, uh, oh, 99. Oh, uh, what was it? Only one person has revealed it, and he did it in secret, right in plain sight, actually, without anybody noticing. And that was Mr. Matthew Lee Massey, a.k.a. Papa Buck. He did so via the Twitter. Really? What was it? Do does it mean? Oh, you didn't know? Fuck the road dog. Nope. Really? It's actually quite obvious when you think about it. I didn't. I do not know. One day you will, and once you do, you'll enjoy. T Dub, stop trolling me. I don't want to give it away. I want to sleep tonight. It's not going to keep you up. Ninety nine, right? What we do now, in more immersive, well, Raven goes. What we do now? Fuck the round of Rousey. I don't think that's what it stands for. Uh, let me. I. It's not fuck anything. It the the first word is for. Ah. Episode ninety nine, right? That is where uh, they were talking about it. Where like, oh yeah, I know what it means. It means fuck the Roman Reigns and. I believe that was Matt that goes, no, it's not what it stands for. Hmm. Yeah. that was like, that's Marty telling one of the Bucks that. Hmm. Did I will watch later. Anyway, check your mic real quick. <laughs> we apologize. The, mic, the TWK's mic is being a dick. Next up, there's, I, I asked the chief uh, to check that mic because uh, you, you, you know who's next. French. Ooh. Is that true? Four 
before the revival's release? No. Huh. <laughs> I see two words in there that are correct. So it's for the. Because that's obviously, come on. Now the two R's are, uh, there you go. And I'll give anyway. you another hint. The two R's have nothing to do with wrestling. Something about Royal is in there. Nope. Oh, well, I will watch 99 later. Uh, hello, everyone. Sad day in wrestling, says uh, Fretter Taku. After the loss, not only Larry the King, Larry the Axe Henning, and Paul Tom the Dynamite Kid, Billington. It's even sadder when you found out the state of Dynamite after years of steroids and abuse, being wheelchair bounded. Bound and a terrible human being, still deepest consolers to their respective family. Uh, this week's Raw, well, better than last week, but not by much. It's it's still crap. Then again, it wasn't like the episode of the, that. It, it wasn't like the episode that broke Maddie like Bane broke the bat's back like a pinata. And speaking of Bane, Dean Ambrose shows up dressed up like DKR Bane. I expect him to ask Rollins if what will break first, his spirit or his leg. Uh, leave the lad, uh, leave the back to Roderick Strong, he says. <laughs> and on the news, there's a taste, uh, there's a tease for future tag titles for the women. Uh, yay, I guess. Drew, Drew and Dolph have their blow off, uh, out of nowhere. Lazy writing. The revival got screwed by Lucha Hot Rules and the horror happened when Nia Jax main event in a Raw episode. And yes... That mine shout. That my ears are still bleeding. I haven't had the the, the listen to that since Karen Jarrett promo. So basically, I haven't had the the ears bleed since Karen Jarrett. That is sad. That is saying something. Uh, SmackDown Live. So Brian turned it to CJ Parker. Yeah, I can dig that. That's where the rest of the TLC women's match for SmackDown for the SmackDown women's belt is officially on. Cesaro versus Woods versus Jimmy. Go see it. He is not wrong. Styles beats Miz before suffering some vegan rage and uh, that picture of Joe holding a beer. Priceless. It, it is not. It is actually not. <laughs> that is hilariously good. Uh, also, where's Nakamura? I feel like it'll end with uh, where with the uh, in a uh, in a feeling it'll end up in a in a where's Frank Stallone shtick. You know, I'm fairly certain we brought that up on Toka Rest that one time. I'll have to double check with the boys on that. NXT go got to see it, especially with the announcement of Gargano versus Black in a steel cage match. My body is ready. No. No, it's not. Mine, mine isn't either, to be fair. Winner, speaking of Alistair, congrats on marrying Zelina Vega. No wonder they had a good chemistry back on NXT. The idea of a, of a Queen of the Ring tournament in WWE, if done right, please, Trippers, take care of it. It might be a, a cool concept. How long until they fucked that up with the, with the King of the Ring? Brian, uh, Daniel Bryan's uh, heel persona, to sum it up, it represents every better environmentalist to a whole new level. If you don't like it, you're fickle or salty. Fickle! 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 <laughs> uh, I'm smiling again on that. That was a good promo. Uh, losers! Monday Night Raw again. Are you even surprised? Not really. First loss for Drew McIntyre, and it was against Dolph Ziggler of all people, and to think Vince rewrote the entire show in less than three hours. How? How? But then again, it was after the passing of George H.W. Uh, Bush, so it has to be uh, sending the crowd happy, but still. Just incredible. Getting arrested again. It was Tuesday, a misdemeanor assault violating protection order, and breach of peace. Get some help, he says. And uh, the reason why WWE will never do intergender matches because of their sponsorship sponsorship with Mattel, according to Dave Meltzer. Have you read this, by the way? Have I read what? 
Rumor has it that the reason why we are not seeing intergender matchups in 2018 is because oh, Mattel <laughs> says no. Yeah, I heard about that. Kind of a shame. Yet, allow women to be attacked by men when they're defenseless, aren't they? Stupid double standard. And yes, it's about money, he says. Oh. It's all about the money. Money talks or money walks, unfortunately. And why would we fuck Mattel, okay? Mattel's actually been good with WWE. I mean, have you seen those toy belts? Not the greatest, but have you seen the Jax belts? Where's my case? I remember, Jack, I remember owning one of the Jax belts and as a youngin' and it being serviceable. Yeah, same here. <laughs> People, calm down. Mattel, Mattel is a company that... Let's put it this way. We are in the, the age of Me Too here. I think Mattel is just covering their ass more than anything else. People are like, people are in the chat, you know, going after Mattel. I'm like, no. Mattel is a business. Business, business. It's what it is. It is a shame that this does mean that some of the women are going to be held back and put into their own little box of a division. Yeah, but at the very least, they're actually putting over the division as something almost equal to the men's division, which is something. Baby steps, I guess. We didn't. We, baby steps, and at the same time, we didn't have this, what, four years ago? Uh, th think of it like that. Yes, there are no intergender matches in WWE, but that just makes, makes PWG more of an attraction. Candice LeRae and then the Young Bucks super kick with the shoe and that 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 that, that stuff. And that's it for this week. Hope you enjoy your week. And also, anyone watch the Game Awards? What games are you most excited? Hmm. The new Obsidian game, Fallout in Space. You were really excited of that. I, it's you were hyped by. They made you were hype. And stick of truth. I know they're going to do amazing things here. I already know their rank is top fucking notch. You were hype as hell on Twitter. I know that. Oh, yes, I was, and I still am. You know, for a second, when you know when they did, did they played the, uh, the, uh, the, the Smash Bros. Ultimate trailer with the Persona 5 character, I hear Phantom Thief. And I'm like, wait, they dubbed Lupin Ranger versus Bata Ranger? And then, and then the Persona 5 characters caught the... Ah, fair, that, 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 that makes sense. Fan I love that they actually got like, the yeah. whole cast together to record lines just for that trailer. That's fantastic stuff. Good touch. Also, you may recognize Xander Mobis, the voice of Joker, as the voice of the announcer for Smash Brothers. There you go. Double Although duty. Double duty, everybody. Yeah, I think he's returning for Ultimate. I'd be I'd be shocked if, he, if the voice was any different. Yeah, they, they generally, with each game, get a new person to do the announcing. I did not watch the Game Awards, actually, last night. Uh, I honestly just decided to just chill out, catch up, actually watch NXT and 205 Live on on uh, Thursday, caught up with uh, some, uh, some of the Impact clips. Uh, so... I just did some catch up and uh, just did uh, the 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 show for today and uh, did some stuff uh, for for the back behind the scenes stuff, you know. But uh, I kept an eye on on the game awards and uh, did T Dub the T W K is hype. For yeah, I just watched the Twitter. Game. By the way, Stanley Parable on consoles. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I have not played Stanley. I have seen Let's Plays. I want to play it myself. That is. Like the only modern PC game I've ever played, and oh my god, it's so amazing! Put that shit on Switch. You'll have a happy Maddie with a Switch in 2019. Also, this is how big the news from last night was. There was a trailer for Psychonauts 2. It's yeah. happening. It's happening. What? It like there was a trailer for it. We saw gameplay. And I missed that. Yeah, that's how much news there was last night. Holy shit, Psychonauts 2! Yeah. And they got all the voice cast back for that too, it seems. 
Wow. Check your mic. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Holy you were shit. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, that's basically how much news there was last night. There's just so much happening at once. Evil Reverend, how do you fuck? How the hell do you think I fucking feel right now? <laughs> That's me every week. That's me. That is me every week. I was like, I'm count up. I'm nice. I know everything. All the shit happens. I'm like, where the fuck did I come from? Yeah, he said, <laughs> certainly purple on consoles. No shit. I missed everything this week. <laughs> I know how you feel, but I do. I do. Anyway, let's uh, let's tell. Let's wrap this. Thing. Let's puppy up those. Are your emails and comments of the week? You can send them at the Russellcast at gmail.com. Next up, stand up the Maddie. And I'll just random wrestling stuff when we come back. Don't go too far. Please. And now a word from our sponsors. A new Fire Pro Wrestling game, huh? I got this. Kenny Omega starting out strong. An elbow to the face. Omega won't take this sitting down. And a low blow. He'll be feeling that tomorrow. This can't be good. It looks like a devastating no, pile driver. Not like this. Is this lights out for Omega? Kenny! But wait! That's a Kota no, Ibushi's at the ropes! That's it! Begging yeah. Kenny to tag him in! Turn your living room into a ring with Fire Pro Wrestling World! <laughs> Fight alongside and against your favorite New Japan Pro Wrestling talent in the all-new scenario mode! Edit custom wrestlers, title belts, and more to book your dream match! Then, share your creations online and battle with players from around the globe! Go in! Trigger! Who do you have in your corner? Tag a friend, and we'll see you in the ring. Fire Pro Wrestling World, available August 28th. This is WMOB Mobile, 12 on your channel dial and 12 in the TV ratings. All right, we're, uh, we're making history, you said? Well, it must be a Tuesday, because when you're the man, you make history every time you step foot in this ring. And I plan on doing the exact same thing at TLC. Because, because being put through a table, or having a metal chair bent over my back, or feeling a steel ladder bounce off my skull, none of that compares to the pain that I've endured to get to where I am today. So it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter to me if your opportunity was earned, or if you're her, I really couldn't care less. Because at TLC, I'm going to do anything it takes to win, and I can't really say the same thing for you two dopes. Change the song. Because it's the same one every week that I was handed an opportunity. Spin it however you want to, to make yourself sleep at night. Here's the facts. I picked up the ball that you dropped at Survivor Series and destroyed Ronda with one kendo stick. And I'm pretty sure it took Naya one punch to bust your face open. And I stood right back I'm up not again. done, Becky. And I stood so right back up again. Shut your mouth again. So imagine what I'm gonna do to you with tables, ladders, and chairs. I imagine I'll own you no, like I already no, have for the past few no, years. No, 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 no. <laughs> she already beat you. She has never beat me. At Survivor Series, you chose 
wrong. I would have beaten Rhonda. At TLC, I will beat you! You're gonna beat Rhonda Rousey? You're gonna beat Rhonda? Really? Because I'm pretty sure I beat you at WrestleMania and broke your streak. That was me. Oh, that was me. you got lucky one time. Oh, oh when well, you're this good, shut you don't need luck. Shut your face, the two of you. Shut your face, the two of you. The truth is, none of you could beat Ronda Rousey, and neither of you can beat me either. I know what you're thinking. Maddie, the promo continued. No, it didn't. The man signed the paper, she left, and nothing else mattered. Because the man left the building. Or, you know, the, 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 the ringside area. She probably had a bowl of quinoa. Maybe a beer. I'm thinking of another person. Welcome back to the Russell Cast. RBT Entertainment production on twitch.tv slash RBT Entertainment. Of course, we're on brokeninfo.com, podmag.com, iTunes, podcasting places. Pretty sure we're on the, uh, the the Google Podcasts thing by now. We'll find a way to be on there anyway. Manage JTWK here with you, and uh, yeah, I kind of promised a bit of an update here because I went on a rant last week. Like a, r- a proper rant. Not one of them soapbox, you know, we're pissed off at something, but we're not actually pissed off at one of those things. An actual proper rant. Um, and now you know why he's been uh, MIA last week, because he's been working, yeah, Reverend's been working 60-hour a week uh, for the next three weeks. Yeah, Christmas shopping's a thing. That's why I always keep my budgets realistic. Anyway. So I went on a rant last week, and uh, many of you have uh, expressed concern. And uh, first off, one, I'm burnt out. And there is a bit of depression, but then again, I'm a little personal here. But I'm in a family where depression and cancer and diabetes is in the family. So spin the wheel, make the deal, it's going to be hell. Uh, I'm fine. I, I'm experiencing a severe burnout. Thanks to Monday Night Raw and the, the 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 effects of just overthinking it and again and again and again and uh, people are and Mattis was like uh, I need to talk to you because I was like I was shitting on what we were you know I was uh, in a uh, in a Facebook uh, conversation with uh, our French entire curl by his book by the way and uh, Mattis goes well Raw wasn't that bad it wasn't this and I just went. Are you sure we watched the same Raw here? Because that was garbage. This week was garbage. Last week was garbage. Okay, the garbage wasn't as bad, but it's still garbage. You know? And, you know, he said, well, I need to talk to you to save your, your sanity and your wrestling soul. And it's like, first off, for those who think that my wrestling soul needs to be saved, don't. It's it's been eating nothing but raw sewage for like the last mm, let's be generous uh, two years, three years. You know, we know it's gonna be crap. So here's what I did this week. I didn't. I tuned in to raw more more of out of force of habit for like the first half hour. I says, you know, let me at least confirm to my head that. It's not going to be worth to tune in for the entire three hours. I saw Ronda Rousey. And I said, well, there's your ratings pop for the first hour right there. Saw Ronda and Natalia. And Natalia gets beats up, uh, by beaten up by the Riot Squad. And I said, nope, done. 
turn it off, turn on the YouTube machine, turn on my Wii U, which I haven't done in God knows how long. Watch uh, uh, games done quick on YouTube. They, uh, they, 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 of course, it's the highlights from those from the marathon streams. Had uh, a couple of bits from the Mario block of that stream, and I had Mario 3D uh, 3D World uh, on the Wii U, and I had uh, the tablet thing in my hand, and I was in bed. I was enjoying a, a non-alcoholic beverage, Mountain Dew, and I had a good evening. I relaxed. I checked every once in a while on Twitter to see results, see if uh, the, 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 the people are saying, oh, this match was good, or this match was crap, or this segment was crap, and guess what? Mostly negative. Some matches. Drew versus Dolph was uh, booked too early, but decent. I watched that. That was fair. The bottom line is, I did not watch Raw for more than an hour total, if you count that half hour and then you know, the, the YouTube clips. Some twice, because I want I, I was considering some promos for Clip of the Week. As I usually do, I always check both Raw, SmackDown, and other uh, independent promotions to see if there's anything usable. That's how I run, usually. And... Watch and I did not watch NXT in uh, uh, 205 Live on Wednesday as I usually do. I was actually talking with uh, the TRPG crew. We met a new our, uh, replacement for Shelby who had to uh, bow out for for now due to uh, personal reasons. Nothing against us, by the way. So don't uh, you know we we say hi to Vix and Shelby. We're just gonna say uh, we got a new guy, Mad Cat, cool dude. We'll fit right in with us, T Dub. You'll like him. Hopefully he joins us for Tanami. You'll like him. Oh, so here he I. Hopefully. Hopefully he shows up for Tanami. We'll have a good time. Does Hopefully. he enjoy Mass Effect? We did not have time to confirm that yet, but I'm pretty sure if Dragon he does show it. Fallout? Ratchet and Clank? Ghost? Avatar? Slipknot? You may, if he shows up to, on our tsunami chat tomorrow, you may grill him as you uh, as you wish. Excellent! <laughs> Not that kind of grill. Let's be chill with that. But I, I I already bought the propane. And the propane accessories? Of course. My friend, we have a barbecue. Let's get let's get some burgers, some wings. Oh no 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 no. Let's slow cook up some ribs. We'll grill them up. They'll be nice. Anyway, moving on. Uh, grilling the new guy's ribs will probably be delicious. No, not that. that never mind. Anyway. So the bottom line it is, uh, am I feeling burnout? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling it. I was feeling it all week. For no particular reason, I am going, I am, what I'm, I, I don't know. I just know that once I'm done here, I'm going to put it together and I'm going to hit this bed, and I'm going to sleep. And I'm going to sleep. Hopefully in Odin's sleep, or at least until like 11 or noon, which I have not done in... Oh, shit. Too long. <laughs> Been too long, my friends. Too long. Now... I said, I, uh, I mentioned I've been working on a few things behind the scenes. I had brought up an idea to bring back a Monday night stream to the RVT stream lineup. Now, it won't be on RVT, per se. It'll be on my own personal Twitch channel. I've been actually working uh, to, get, to uh, get the thing, uh, to get things set up as properly. I don't have a Streamlabs as of yet. I do have a Streamlabs account, as a matter of fact. I just need to, to work out uh, whatever things I need to work out there. They're not kinks because there are no kinks to work out yet. Uh, it's just it's just an account that has not been fully set up yet. Uh, also, uh, you will notice, I will type hello in the chat. You will note, no long, the, the username is no longer MetaJ86, it is MetaJ316. Yes! Oh. Da 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 da, Mary. Ba da 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 da, Jay. Ba da 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 da, Jack and Coke. Ba da ba ba da, hockey. Ba da da, Mary. Going to the wrestling shows, getting slapped by Sarah Del Rey. Ba da 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 da. Oh 
By the way, it's rum and coke, but close enough. <laughs> a real man drinks Jack and Coke, you son of a bitch. Actually, I do enjoy a Jack and Coke, to be fair. But I'm more of a rum and Coke kind of a guy. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. And that's the fishing line. There it is. I was wondering if this is going to be not Stone Cold or not Shark Boy, but I think you're not Shark Boy now, aren't you? Maybe. This is not Shark Boy. ba 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 Becky Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like still one. enjoy wrestling things. I'm laughing and, uh, at wrestling things. I wasn't laughing hard enough last week. And Evil Rap wants uh, wants us to say my Stone Cold impression as a clip. <laughs> I will uh, I will definitely do that. <laughs> if we ever go to a con, there's your entrance theme. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I've been playing, trying to play video games and everything else. And I, it, it thought it was like, you know what? There's a reason why we don't do Monday Night Riffs anymore. But I'd love to do like a, a stream, you know. One of those chill streams where I just sit down, play video games, but it's one of those things where three hours of me playing video games quietly or every once in a while yelling fuck can get a little boring. Believe me, I do a 90-minute show here, and I could see by the numbers uh, some of you are not sticking around too long. Some of you are still sticking around, and I very much thank you very uh, for, for the showing up. But Problem is, you know, so Mike, Mike Shaw, I was going to ask Mike if he wanted to, he obviously wants in on that. Uh, it'd be a stream where I would get, like, Mike, maybe Vishosha Y if she wishes to be a part of it. Not easy, because I'm pretty sure Easy would like to sleep in, uh, to sleep a little bit more before not having to watch Raw like I do. Because he does work uh, at nights, as some of you may or may not know. And I figured, let, let me go back to the opener real quick. I've already set the thing up on uh, on the OBS, and there's the there's the uh, logo, the working logo here. The show uh, I, I, is tentatively called the Monday Night Alternative, as in three hours of me playing video games, more than likely and obviously better than the shit than the schlock. That you have been force fed by Vinnie Mac and Co. since the beginning of time. I'm willing to bet that bet is uh, is uh, is uh, more winnable now than ever. It's gonna be a very chill stream. Let me send you the, the logo to you, Tito, so you don't have to. So you can actually see. There it is for you. All right, let me you. take a gander at this. There you go. Share uh, with the not class. Not too bad. Not too bad, huh? I see you're still using the old Magia Live uh, fonts. I mean, it's what I have, and I don't have like the the fonts anymore uh, since I moved the new computer and everything else. Whoops! But uh, there it is. Not you bad. Know. It's something, and it will more than likely morph into something else. Now, before anything, anyone says we'll debut next week. No, I, I actually enjoy having this break, and I'd like to. I'd like to enjoy this. If it's Christmas, I don't want to overwork too much. But starting January or, you know, maybe after Christmas. Who knows? It depends how I feel. Uh, and I'm not I want sure to make I'll sure I'll be a part of it because um, usually what I do on Mondays now that I don't watch Raw is I record my video. That's where I spend most of my time recording video game footage for my reviews. There you go. So you play video games. Basically what I do. So that's what it is. I will hopefully be uh, doing the show. Let me bring that back to, to you folks out there. Hopefully, I will start this uh, last week of uh, of uh, December, last week of the year, or first Monday of the new year. Uh, good cause. The Fezad can't talk good now. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, because obviously bronchitis. Yeah. So... The, there you have it. So it is a thing. It, it, I'm uh, looking at what games I'll be playing. I have a few uh, already lined up. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I would like pick up a Switch. Because obviously I'd like to game on it. And I would like to have a reason to play on the, the Switch. Other than just to travel and everything else. And to kill the time and everything else. 
Because you only can only watch uh, available for download uh, Netflix movies so much. And that's the reality of it. By the way, um, on, for the Switch, you will need an HDMI a capture card. Have the uh, I have the, uh, the 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 game capture thing I've had uh, for a while now. I, I'm pretty sure it will work just fine. Awesome. I have that. I, I actually captured some of the uh, some of the Wii U footage for Game Crew uh, using the uh, the game capture the uh, the, uh, the, the, the 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 Elgato the Elgato uh, game capture. Nice. There you go. It ain't perfect, but it, it works and it works for stream still. So. I know you folks will enjoy it. Um, actually, matter of fact, the game cruise we did last year with the SNES Classic, that's how I recorded it. Laptop with the uh, with the gimmick. A cumbersome rig, but it worked. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, late, ne- late this year, early next year, I'll be starting streaming every Monday night for three hours. I'll be a very chill stream, no extra gimmicks. Uh, Minimal buns, unless, uh, of course, uh, Shades has uh, shown entrance, uh, interest in uh, doing the show. He wants to jump in on that. He might use his bun thing for that, and he will obviously keep an eye on the uh, chat room as well. Um, so this is a new era that Gato is talking about. <laughs> Mortimer, you're not half wrong. <laughs> You're not half wrong. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll be doing uh, video game streams uh, m- hopefully every Monday night starting in 2019. And you know what? I'll, I'll have the stream labs with the PayPal set up. So if you folks want to donate a penny to me every once in a while, you can. And all that good stuff. There you go. That That's the update right there. That is the state of Maddie. Am I burnt out? Yes. Feeling it now? Damn right. Not laughing as hard as I want to, but thinking I'm brain tired, which is a different of body tired. So I'll be sleeping in to tomorrow morning like I've never slept in before. But I'm fine. Figure out ways to kill time without having to tune in to Raw every week. And I got Fire Pro Wrestling, and once I got the DLC for that... Uh, you know, all I gotta do if if we have to watch Raw one week uh, during the alternative, all I gotta do is set up some Fire Pro Wrestling matches. It's problem solved. <laughs> and but I, I have the feeling that once I that there is that that inevitably ha- inevitability happens, I will have the build up. I will have built up a, a a solid roster enough to keep things fresh every once in a while. There you go. Also, bu- 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 get back, E. Lynch. What? <laughs> anyway, enough of my rambling. Too late, obviously. Uh, it's time for winners and losers. T-Dub, you're playing. Uh, you're still playing uh, Yakuza, aren't you? Uh, recently, I put out a new video, and that is my review of Fist of the North Star: Lost uh, Paradise. That's the one, yeah. You a shock! <laughs> Unfortunately, that song's not in the game. Oh. That's I'm very bummer. happy that you recognize that song, though. I may not be an anime guy, but uh, most geeks will recognize that, I hope. Yeah. Yeah, just, oh, that, that song is so good. How could they not put that in there? That is strange they would not put that in there. But yeah, the, uh, my review of the game is on my YouTube channel and, of course, thebrokeninfinite.com. There you go. And uh, stuff and thanks. Let's do winners and losers first, though. Uh, let's uh, do uh, losers first. Ricochet! What the fuck did he do to earn a loser? Let me read you a tweet from him. Mm. I love Teen Titans Go! <gasps> I. <clears throat> Is he talking about the movies or the series? Both. I heard the movie See, was good, though. I would have forgiven him on the movie. The series, though, ew. can't really forgive him for that. Also, Evil Rev with a nice little reference there. Makes, 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 mak
<laughs> which is a thing that can happen in the game. <laughs> oh god, you're already drunk. <laughs> Nani? I'll tell you what, I'm already dead, motherfucker. Thud. <laughs> oh! Ah, 50 bits uh, for Max Shell. Thank you very much for that uh, nice little donation. Losers, acute bronchitis. Yep, makes sense to me. Got two losers. WWE. Raw sucks, you fuckers. You're going to be in that loser pile for a while. Get used to it. And Xavier Woods. He was uh, Mildred the Monk's uh, Geek of the Week. Call this uh, wrestling fan saying that Raw sucks. Infants. Yeah, he was pretty quite sure. Mature and uh, oh, seems yeah. very, very. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, insecure. Super insecure. I was going to go corporate because that sounded like a Vince McMahon line to me. Xavier Woods is smart. Yes, he is. He is also smart enough not to piss off the guy who could choke him. There you go. Winners, T-Dub. Winners. I give my winner to... The Women's Division of Impact Wrestling because it's so goddamn good. I love it. Can't say I blame you. Two full... Uh, they got two full uh, storylines going on right now. The alley thing... And the women's uh, the women's uh, championship with uh, Taya Valkyrie and uh, Tessa Blanchard, which is still picking up, which is still it's I think still picking up steam after that championship match from Bound for Glory. So yep, and is, they're gonna have their rematch good. at Homecoming. There you go. I thought I heard my phone ring there. Um. One winner this week, Tommaso Ciampa, for that promo. Just the way he delivered it was like both the the desperation of a champion trying to keep they're trying to keep Kyle then genius in at the same time. Love that good promo. Love that promo. And uh, oh, that's pretty much it. That's all I had on my list actually. There you go. All right, well, you already plugged your, your, your Fist of the, of the North Star video. You want to plug it again? Uh, sure. Fist of the North Star, Lost Paradise Review on my YouTube channel. I'll put it right into the Twitch chat for everybody because why not? My shovel, another winner that I forgot to write up. Eric Bischoff with the TED Talk. Ah, what did Eric Bischoff say? He was talking about uh, the, the mainstream news taking cues from pro wrestling. Ah, not surprising. Everything takes cues from pro wrestling. Everything. Everything! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, T.W. Callahan. That's what the K stands for. <laughs> anyway, there, there's YouTube link for you folks in the chat room. There you go. And I did watch that TED Talk. So the so the shades and uh, I'm like you know what he's not half wrong. <laughs> it's all you know I'm about to watch that. You know if I can find time after watching the the World Tag League Finals tomorrow. Ooh, good call, good call. World oh, wait, Tag League to Finals watch... tomorrow. What? You should watch that. Go ahead, DW. Yeah. By the way, there are semifinals tonight where Excalibur was on commentary. Yeah. I meant to watch that because I want to hear him calling New Japan matches. And you get to do that tomorrow as well. Oh, he's gonna be there tomorrow too. Hopefully, I think that's what the, the, the intention is, I think. Oh, that would be awesome. I oh, he's so good. I mean, he, if he was here last night and tonight, I, would, I, I, would, I wouldn't put past New Japan to keep him for the rest of the weekend. Just saying. <laughs> uh, that being said, of course, you know where the schedule uh, is uh, in there. Hopefully, it is working. Uh, hopefully, this time it'll be work. But it is in the description. Uh, all the shows uh, available and all that stuff. is like, There it is. 
that's a thing right there. There's the schedule on, is on the screen for you. A link in there, of course, in the chat room as well. You can check that out. Uh, of course, I'm doing Toka Riffs Live every Sunday night. We're, I'm enjoying it. This uh, the, the last week was a little bit rough on the first half, but we were having some fun in the second, as per usual. So please stick around. Of course, your token memes are in there as well. Uh, of course, you want to follow us on Twitter at MattyJ316 at TWK Official. Hey, I got an Instagram under the same URL as well at MattyJ316. You want to support us? TWK's Patreon, patreon.com slash TWK Reviews. And of course, my tip chart, paypal.me slash MattyJ316. Any and all donations and contributions and pledges, welcome and appreciated. Yeah. That being said, we thank you very much for tuning in and saying hi to us for the last, uh, well, last hour and a half, actually. Thank you. Appreciate it. On behalf of my buddy TWK. Until next time, this is TWK of TWK Review, so you work your gimmick. My name's Manny J, reminding all professional wrestling support to independent promotion as soon as possible. We shall talk to you next week for a preview of TLC. Boy, that's going to be something. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Evil Reverend, support your independent promotion as soon as possible, Farmer. Or else. Or else what? The UK scene will die. And the WWE terrorists will win. No, oh, yeah, I'm running with that. I'm going to run with that. Have a good one. Have a safe one. We'll talk to you next week, folks. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye! Well, what the fuck are you waiting for? That's your cue, man. I got nothing. <laughs>